Rick and I met, Rick had, was diagnosed with cancer. That was our life. But if Rick hadn't been diagnosed with cancer, do I think we'd still have stayed together? Or I'd be, there's no way to actually say that because that's not what happened, but I doubt it. And I went upstairs and uh, I felt her pulse, which I couldn't find. And I, her mouth was closed and I, and I closed her nostrils to see if there was any movement and there wasn't. And I came bounding down the stairs and uh, the only words I could get out of my mouth at the time was, uh, it's over. And what a surreal moment. Because there's no dividing line, there's no, she was here and now she's gone. Her body is still there. It's just not breathing. One afternoon, we were just hanging out at his kitchen table, and he said, when the doctors tell you that I'm going, I want you to get rid of my journals. And I asked him, I said, well, can I read them first? And he said, no. I said, oh, man. So that was, oh, that was part of uh, my grieving process and letting go of Tyke, because it was years and years of his history. I didn't know this, but I, it's logical. When you cremate someone, you can't take their ashes right away because they're hot. And I went back the next day by myself to pick the ashes up. And they handed me this box and uh, it said temporary container on the outside of the box.